Good morning, Misty. What you looking at? Some dead plants. Looks like you're having so much fun. Hey, Alaska. You ready to come back inside? Oh, hello. Yes, hello. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Good morning. Good morning. You ready for breakfast? Alaska, sit. I think someone here is hungry. Alaska, I already gave you your food and you ignored it. Now you don't get cat food. That's for the cats. That's for Misty. Alaska, your food is in the kitchen. Your food is in the kitchen. Yeah, your food is in the kitchen and you just don't want it. Meanwhile, Misty certainly wants her breakfast. And of course, Oryx gets some food as well, but she usually won't come and eat it until a little bit later on. And as you can see, I'm running pretty low on dog food and I'm like completely out of cat food now. So I'm gonna be going out later today to pick up some more. And I'm also gonna put out some nice fresh water for everyone to enjoy. Right, puppy? Right. Your food is literally right there. <laughs> I don't know what you want. Good morning, Oryx. Oh, you don't like the camera. <laughs> Just, okay. Good morning, Oryx. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Very curious about the camera, aren't you? I may be having a little bit too much fun here while embracing my inner beauty YouTuber, but that's fine. That's what you guys are here for, right? Certainly not pet content. You're certainly all here for get ready with me beauty YouTuber content. It's time for me to get on with my morning routine in my reptile rooms. Out of all of the reptiles and stuff that I keep, the majority of them are nocturnal. And as a result of that, I find that my morning routine tends to be not nearly as intense as my nighttime routine is. So one of the very first things that I like to do with all of my reptiles and stuff in the morning is to just go around and make sure that they all have fresh, clean water. I'll spray any of the tanks that need to be misted. All of my lights are on timers, so all of the lights normally come on on their own at 8 a.m., so I don't have to do anything there. But yeah, let's uh, get on with the waters. You know who always makes a mess of their water bowls? Frogs. Frogs always make a mess of their water. Here's Alfredo. And there's Linguini. I love these guys. What good little frogs. So uh, voiceover Emma is here and the reason that I'm here is because for some reason this is what the audio in these next few clips sounded like. Right now, I'm so sorry. I don't know why that happened, but basically what I was saying in these clips is just that my emerald tree skinks are super fun and I could tell that they were hoping that I had food with me. Unfortunately for them, I did not have food with me, but I did promise them that I would bring some soon. I like how now that they've realized that I don't have food with me, they don't care about me at all. They're just like, I'm waiting, waiting for breakfast. 
So I did happen to notice that one of my heat lamps right here for my African fat tail gecko has burnt out. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that. Thankfully, I do have some spare bulbs. I have one right here. So I'm just going to open this up and pop it in and make sure my gecko has her heat lamp going. And there we go, the heat has returned, the sun has risen, and I also have a hungry little dart frog staring at me who is uh, demanding some fruit flies. Hello, Linda. Would you like some breakfast? Linda, who's the female, often does this when she wants food. She'll just wait right up at the front like this if she knows I'm in the room. Whereas Bob, Bob who is the male, he usually is just like hiding in the back of the tank. He's a lot more reclusive than Linda is, but Linda likes to sit here and beg. Okay, I made up some food for my emerald tree skinks and now just take a look at how excited they get for it. I'm gonna start by doing just a general tidying of my rabbit pen here because Peanut has made quite the mess. Now, this thankfully isn't actually too bad of a mess. It's mostly just for toys and stuff all shredded around, but that's what rabbits do with their toys. All right, now I'm also gonna get her some fresh water and then I'm gonna get her some fresh food and hay. You know, with the pellets that I feed Peanut, I usually like to kind of scatter them around her enclosure. A lot of times I'll put them in like some of her little foraging toys here. So then this way she has to actually kind of like forage for them and search around for them. And it's just, it's more enriching and mentally stimulating for her. I'll usually leave a little bit of them in the bowl just for some, some low effort food, but I think it is a really good idea to scatter them around. It does give her a little bit more to do, doesn't it? I would actually like to clean Peanut's litter box today. However, I'm actually out of garbage bags at the moment, so I'm gonna pick up some new garbage bags on my way home from work, and then I'll give it a clean this evening. But for now, I'm just gonna add a little bit of fresh hay in it. And I think Peanut can also get a little treat because she's a good girl. Here you go. She really, really likes these treats. So my rabbits, um, those of you who have been around on my channel for a little bit, probably know that last time I filmed a room tour, all my other videos, Peanut was not alone. I did have a bonded pair of rabbits. I had Peanut and I had Thumper. And unfortunately, over the Christmas time, I did lose Thumper. It was December 27th, so it was just after Christmas. It was a pretty hard time. But basically, um, Thumper did pass away and he did just pass away peacefully at home. He was eight years old, which is, you know, a pretty average lifespan for a rabbit. So I do like to think that he lived a good long life and thankfully he never really seemed like he was suffering, you know, even up until his very last moments, he was eating his treats, he was eating strawberries, I was giving him, you know, some special foods because I knew that it was his time. So thankfully Thumper did have a good long life, but I am sad to say that I did have to say goodbye to him and that has also now left Peanut on her own. And so it was hard on Peanut as it was hard on me. And Peanut, you know, for the first few days after Thumper passed was very depressed. She was barely moving. She didn't really care about any of her toys. She was eating still, thankfully, but you could just tell that she wasn't herself. Thankfully now that a little more time has passed, she's much more herself again. She's been playing with her toys. She seems a lot happier. I've also been doing my best to make sure that things are extra special for her. I've been giving her a lot of new toys, a lot of extra attention 
tension, so I think that that has been helping. And now I'm going to prepare some veggies for my plant-eating animals, such as my bearded dragon and my rabbit. And voila, we have some lovely salad right here. Now, for my rabbit, rather than just leaving all of her veggies on a plate, I actually like to literally just scatter them around her pen. Again, I think that this is good enrichment for her. And now the rest here is for Lex, my bearded dragon, so I put it in her bowl, and then I'm also just going to sprinkle some calcium on it, and voila, we have a salad ready for a beardy. go for a walk? I think it's time for a walk. Oh, time to pee. Good pee, good pee. Must smell everything. Every single thing must be sniffed. Okay, the time has now come for me to leave my house to go to work. And on my way to work, I am going to be stopping at Tim Hortons so that I can get coffee and breakfast because one, I have not eaten or anything yet, and two, I'm Canadian. So of course that is part of my daily routine. Of course I have to go to Tim's. So we're gonna go to Tim's and then we're gonna go to work. I now have my Tim's here. I got a vanilla latte and I also got a bagel. So now that I have this, we are going to hit the road and I'm gonna head out to work. Well, I'm done work now. It's about 4.30 p.m. I thankfully had a really easy day at work. I didn't have a whole lot going on today. I had a meeting, which was the biggest thing, but other than that, not too much happening. Pretty easy boring day so I didn't vlog at all at work or anything because why would I film myself in a meeting and writing emails that's really boring anyways I am now in the parking lot outside of the pet store because I have to get some more dog and cat food hello And our next stop now is PetSmart. So PetSmart is not my favorite place to shop when it comes to like reptile and exotic animal supplies. However, I live in Nova Scotia and one really big downside to Nova Scotia is that we literally have like no exotic pet stores here. If I need something for my reptiles, literally like PetSmart is the only option. There's like one exotic pet store that's kind of far away from me and that's it. So a lot of other stuff I'll order online, but if I am not able to wait, you know, a couple days or even like a week or two for it to arrive to me, we go to PetSmart. I went to PetSmart was because I needed to get some crickets and superworms, but they were all out of literally every insect. So yeah, so now I just have to come back later when they get their order. I'm gonna head to Walmart now because like I said earlier, I'm all out of garbage bags. So I need to run to Walmart to do some fun adult errands. How exciting, love buying garbage bags. So I'm home from work and home from running errands now and I got everything I needed. I got my boring adult things like garbage bags and dish soap and then I also got the stuff I needed for my pets. 
got some new cat food, and I got some new dog food. And now, normally I buy much larger bags. I've noticed Alaska hasn't really been enjoying her food the way that she used to. So I decided to try out a new brand and flavor and see if she'll like this better. If she enjoys it, I'll go back for a bigger one. Got some treats for them and picked up some wet food and stuff. I was hoping to also get some feeder insects for my reptiles, but as you guys saw, they were all out of literally all of their insects other than black soldier fly larvae. So I did pick up a few of those, but I was hoping to come home with crickets and superworms, but I did not. I just have to check back uh, in a few days, so hopefully they will have them then. So then I can feed my reptiles, because feeding your pets is a good thing to do. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make myself some dinner. I'm kind of hungry at this point, and then I'll probably just chill out for a little bit, watch some TV, but I still have lots more to do with my pets in the evening. Don't worry, there's still a lot more that has to be done with my pets. My dinner here is all ready. It's really simple. I just have some Mexican style rice, some cut up chicken breast, and then some veggies over here. So I'm gonna go and enjoy this while I watch some TV. All right, so I just uh, took a little bit of time to myself. I was basically just hanging out on the couch. I had dinner and then I just watch TV for a little while. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get my dog and my cats fed again, and then after that I'm going to head on back down to the reptile room to get all of my evening chores taken care of for the night. What do you think? Do you like it? What do you think of it? Is it good? Are you confused? Unsure? Hi puppy. Do you want more food? Hi Oryx. <laughs> Are you ready for food? Oryx? Oryx? Oh, are you excited? Oh, okay, I don't know what's going on. And there we go. The cats now have food for whenever they're hungry. What did you think, puppy? Did you like it? Did you like that new food? Oh, okay. Hello, hello, hello. Was it good? Was it good? Is that a yes or a no? I don't really know. Oh my. Oh my. What are you doing? Uh, are you okay? <laughs> what is happening? What is happening right now? What is this? <laughs> I think my dog just broke a little bit. So I'm back to doing reptile chores now. So I'm getting started by feeding all of my animals that eat uh, this type of diet here. So this is the crested gecko uh, rapashi. I have a bunch of little dishes here and I'm going to fill them all up with this stuff. But I have a little hack. If you're someone like me who has a lot of geckos, get yourself a condiment bottle just like this one here. And then you can actually fill it up with the crested gecko diet. So then this way you can just put it in the bottle and then you can squirt it out into the dishes like that, so much more convenient. I also like to prepare them on this little tray here because it makes delivering them very convenient, I'm like a server in a restaurant for all of my geckos. First up, we have Derek. You can kind of see Derek's little face poking out there, which is really cute if you ask me. Oh, that's a little much. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think someone might be a little bit too excited for their food. Derek, that was a little bit excessive. Let's try that again. Much better this time. Good job. Out of all of the geckos I have, Derek is um, definitely one of my most enthusiastic about food. So I do have two 
two Chihuahua Gecko that live in this enclosure together, so I do usually like to put two separate food dishes in here. This way it just prevents any like fighting or competition or anything like that, so they got one in their ledge and then I placed the second one just down on the ground there. And they're currently doing a very good job of uh, camouflaging themselves, but they are both just on the back of this branch right now. Now these lights here did shut off already, but these two enclosures belong to my chameleon geckos, so I'm gonna put one food dish in this one. This one is for Pluto and Venus, and then next to them we have Neptune and he is also going to get his little food dish. Now we have my two crested geckos, so they're each going to get a dish of food in their enclosure. Now these small enclosures down here belong to some of the baby geckos that I breed. So I have a couple baby chihuahua right now, as well as some baby chameleon geckos. So they are going to be getting fed. But before I feed them, please just take a second to admire how insanely cute they are. Hey, look at this little tiny baby. So precious. This is one of my Chihuahua geckos that just hatched pretty recently. Seriously, some of the cutest baby geckos to ever exist. So that's what these little teeny tiny dishes are for. These little teeny tiny dishes are for some little teeny tiny geckos. Okay, and if you thought the baby Chihuahua geckos were tiny, just wait until you see a baby chameleon gecko. Look at how little it is. Just a tiny, precious little baby gecko. Adult chameleon geckos are already small, so their babies are just like extra teeny tiny. They're so cute. And now you can understand why it would get such a teeny tiny little bit of food. Now you may not notice anything in here, but there's actually a bunch of morning geckos that live in this enclosure. At this point, I honestly have no idea what the total number would be, but when the lights go out, I see a lot of them running around in here. There's about four that are adult breeding size geckos, but then there is just a ton of babies as well because these guys are parthenogenic, so they just reproduce on their own. And as a result, I basically just let them do their thing and over the time that I've had them their population has just grown and grown and grown so that's why they got two things of food so they had one up there and then another one that I put right there and then lastly over here I have two more Chihuahua geckos and now their life has also gone off by now but these are two geckos that I also bred but these guys were actually born last year so they're a lot bigger than the little tiny babies you just saw these guys are basically sub adults at this point and I will also let you know that they are for sale, so if you're in Canada and you want a Chihuahua Gecko, go over to my Instagram page and message me there because these guys do need some new homes. And now it's time to feed some of the bug eaters. So as you guys saw earlier, um, I was not able to get all the feeder insects that I hoped I could, so I'm not going to be feeding all of my reptiles or anything tonight, but I am gonna go ahead and give out some of these black soldier fly larvae to some of my reptiles, and then the rest of them will eat when I'm able to get my crickets and super worms and everything. Feeding frogs is always just pure chaos. So graceful. So, so, so graceful. Oh, you missed, buddy. You missed. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys are ridiculous. Okay, you guys gotta calm down.
sleepy Felix. The second his lights go off, he is out. So Felix won't be eating today because he's already asleep, but I'll make sure he gets lots of bugs in the morning because I did want to feed him today, but it's a little too late for that now. He is knocked out for the night. He must have heard me uh, talking about him because look who's awake now. He's still not gonna get fed because his lights are out, but he will get fed in the morning. Felix woke up to say hello. Oh, and there goes the focus. Now, as far as my snakes go, I don't really have to do much with them today. It's not feeding day for any of them. So I checked all their waters this morning and now I'm gonna start misting some enclosures. So a couple of my snakes are going to get misted, but other than that, I don't have to do a whole lot with the snakes today. So I thought I'd just uh, show you Willow and say hello to her. So everyone who needed to be fed tonight has now been fed. So now that food is done, it is time for water. Something I want to mention is that on December 26th, so this is the day after Christmas and the day before my rabbit Thumper passed away, I also very sadly lost my female Parsons chameleon, Fiona. So as you can imagine, it was a rough couple days for me. I'm not gonna dive into detail here just because I don't really wanna make this video super depressing, but if you are curious what exactly happened, you can go over over to my Instagram page and read about it there, or I will probably be talking about it in an update video that I'm going to post here on my channel in probably just a few weeks. And last thing before I leave these rooms for the night is a nice fresh and clean litter box for Peanut. So now that all of my animals have been taken care of, now that everything I've needed to do for the day has been done, I'm basically now just gonna go and hop in the shower and then after that I am going to be heading to bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what my daily routine is like with 50 plus animals because it's probably a little bit different than most people's daily routines. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing it. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also make sure to subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot to me if you did. Also be sure to check out all of my social media. Everything will be down in the description below and I would love to have you guys over there. So with all of that, that said and done, I'm gonna end this now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.